Pyth Network on Solana is rumored to have an upcoming airdrop, and if it's anything like the Jiro token, it'll be worth thousands of dollars. So similar to Chainlink, Pyth provides real-time market data to the Solana network, including markets for crypto equities, foreign exchange, commodities, plus 45 other blockchains. So currently, Pyth is powering dozens of apps, and it's only growing month over month. There's a ton of speculation on X for a Pyth airdrop, so today I wanted to cover how to stake the Pyth token and make yourself eligible for a potential airdrop. This is a quick and easy tutorial. Let's get started. So like I mentioned, Pyth covers over 400 data feeds, over 250 apps, and 45 blockchains. So in order to stake, you would need to visit staking.pyth.network and you would connect your wallet. I recommend the Phantom wallet. So make sure you have that installed on your browser at phantom.app and you will need to acquire some Pyth token into your Phantom wallet in order to stake it. The easiest way to acquire the Pyth token is to swap for some Solana token on something like the Jupyter Dex. So on the website jupe.ag, you would connect your wallet, again, connect your Phantom wallet, make sure your Phantom wallet does have some Solana available to swap for. So we're gonna swap some Solana for some Pyth, 0.213. So at the current market rate, I'll receive about 50 Pyth for this amount. So you would hit swap and confirm on your wallet. Great, that was confirmed. And you can verify by viewing your wallet again. And as you can see, I have my Pyth token available now in my Phantom wallet. So back to the staking page, I have previously staked some Pyth tokens. So under the stake tab, I'm going to hit max. This would preload the total amount of Pyth I have in my wallet. And we're going to hit stake one more time, confirming your wallet. Great, that was approved. And if you click on the stake tab, you see that the new amount of 50 more tokens will begin staking during the next epoch. Cool, if for some reason you ever wanted to unstake, you would go to the unstake tab. Keep in mind, there is a seven day unbonding period for your tokens to unstake. Cool, and one more thing I recommend you do under the staking page is vote on the governance proposal. So at the time of filming, there are no new proposals, but definitely keep checking weekly on this page. To view any new proposals, you can vote on. The developers definitely want you to become an active participant and vote on any new proposals. And again, this would just increase your chances for a potential airdrop. And there you have it, a quick forward way to stake your Pyth token. Again, this is all speculation, but doesn't hurt to stake your pipe and be involved with the process. So a ton of these apps are currently tokenless. So what better way to make yourself eligible for a potential airdrop than by staking your Pyth token. So definitely stay up to date with everything Pyth related on their official X page at Pyth Network. And don't forget to check out my other airdrop tutorials on my YouTube. There's tons of free alpha available there. So I hope you found this information helpful. If you have any questions, please leave a question in the comment section. I'll be happy to respond. Don't forget to like and subscribe. I'll see you on the next one.